surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Hero Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I was asked to make quick and easy sliding doors that are also detachable. Now, this is the only space that I thought about in my home where I could put something like that there even if I don't really need it. So because it's going to be detachable, the request was kind of interesting, so why not? Now here's the thing, I'm going to be working with walls that are over 9.5 feet tall. Now that's going to be a lot for a door and to get wood that's gonna fit into my car so what i did was to get a long board from home depot and i cut it into two what i got was a pvc board because i wanted it to be really really light but then you can go ahead and use wood now i also got walmart mirrors and i got two and i attached them to the board before i go any further i want to show you guys some examples of sliding doors that have pricey hanging hardwares because in the request, she also mentioned that she wanted it to be on a budget. And I had no idea how to go about this except using hardwares that I know would work. But they're kind of pricey. And what I did was to go to Pinterest and they never let me down. I got an easier way to go about this using screw hooks. Now these are the hardwares that I'm going to be using for the project. I spray painted them white and started coupling them together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I used screws and anchors to mount it on the wall. After using a strong adhesive to attach the mirrors to the boards, I wasn't still satisfied, so what I did was to hold it down firmly with screws. If you're going to be doing this, you have to be really careful to make sure that you're doing this only on the frame of the mirror. I'm going to be adding this now, and this is going to make it easy for me to hang the doors to the pipe. I'll be attaching wheels to the bottom to make it easy to slide the doors. This is what it looks like after mounting it. I would like to use something decorative for the handles, so what I got was a frame, and you can get this from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I glued foam board to it, and then I took it out and I spray painted it gold, and then I covered the middle with gold reflective paper. Before I go any further, I'm going to cut this into two.
I'll cover up the edges with singular strips from Mirror Mosaic Tiles. I was looking around for what I can use for the handles. So what I found were tie backs. I've not used this before. They've just been sitting down at home doing nothing. So now I'm gonna use them as handles. You can attach it like this or like this, but I prefer to go this way since I'm gonna be pulling the doors left and right. I added gems in the middle to make it close to the color that I have on the wall. I'm gonna remove this because I don't really like the way it looks and replace it with a large crystal. I'm just gonna glue that there with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. These are decorative onlays that I got from Lowe's. I took it out and I spray painted them gold and I'm gonna use them to decorate the top of the mirrors. Doors will work perfectly fine. And these are aligned as well. But if you like, you can have something like a stopper by the side just to guide the movement of the door. Now I don't need it because mine came out just the way I wanted it to be. But then if you like, you can go ahead and attach a stopper there. And if you're in a rented apartment, you can use the strong adhesive at the bottom. I really love how this turned out and it's so easy to mount the doors to the pipes and remove them if you don't need them anymore. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I didn't really need sliding doors here. But because I was so interested to see what it was going to look like, I decided to just go ahead and make one. The doors slide from left to right smooth and easy. Because of the height of the doors, you think it's kind of heavy, right? But it's not. It's super easy to open and close it thanks to the tires. This was a unique and a very different kind of project for me, but I enjoyed every bit of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well and have learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.